一度时速高达两百七十公里的米勒台风，不久前重创日本，是今年以来全球最强的热带气旋。到底有多强？它的余绪甚至横跨整个太平洋，对加州构成土石流的威胁。The remnants of Super Typhoon Moore. You remember that system that passed through Japan? Well, now it's still in the Pacific Ocean, but it's heading towards the west coast of the U.S. And it looks like the remnants are going to provide really messy weather. 台风威力之强，寿命之长，路径之怪异，一次次超出我们的记忆和理解。但是，看在政府间气候变迁委员会评估报告主要撰稿人、诺贝尔和平奖得主史奈德眼中，并不意外。It's only starting, but it's projected to get quite a bit stronger over the 21st century. Why is that? It's because the warm water is the power source behind a tropical cyclone. So if all the factors are constant and you have warmer water because of global warming, which we do, the storm has to be a little stronger than it otherwise would have been. 地球温度会不会上升到超越工业革命前的两度，也就是许多科学家担忧的红线？史奈德悲观地说，绝对会超过。这仿佛一辆向前疾驶的快车，遇到路障要避免发生意外，当然得赶快踩刹车，但车辆却不可能在当下立刻静止。Supposing you can't stop a crash at 10 miles an hour, that's a lot better than a crash at 20 or at 30. So our object is not to perform the impossible. We cannot stop the buildup that is already there, or the momentum that's going to have it build up for another ten years at least. But we can dramatically change the slope. Right now, it's going like that. We've got to make it go like that, and then go like that. We can, but it will take a decade or two or three. 如何改变灾难性的温度曲线？许多人寄望年底的哥本哈根会谈能成为转捩点，包括中美印厄澳及欧盟这几个碳排放大国能够达成共识，尤其中美这两头大象。The、only numbers that matter are how many tens of billions of dollars a year are the United States, the EU, China, India. I even hope Taiwan, maybe a little less. Are they going to spend? Helping their own industries invent our way out of this problem, and working with other countries to pass that knowledge around—that is what will solve the problem. The numbers I care about are how much you're going to spend, what are you going to spend it on? Much more so than some artificial target with no teeth that speed limits without police and judges. 争取到二零二零年 ，We will endeavor to cut carbon dioxide. Emissions per unit of GDP by a notable margin by 2020 from the 2005 level. 胡锦涛在联合国大会上对地球的承诺令人印象深刻。反倒奥巴马所言空泛，缺乏具体时程表。美国利益团体的抵制掣肘是对抗全球暖化最大的敌人。They're business people that want to maintain market share and get the maximum return on investment. They don't think about. Children who go to the hospital with asthma because of their tailpipe emissions, or sea level rising or intensifying hurricanes that that drive Aboriginal cultures in in southern Taiwan into dangerous conditions, that's not in their thinking. Governments have to force that into their thinking by rules. The bottom line: we must adapt to what we cannot prevent. We must prevent what we cannot adapt to, which means more than another one or two degrees of warming. That means we have to have radical action. 人类走在存亡绝续的十字路口，全球暖化危机很遥远吗？一点也不，很可能下一次的台风，它就携带而来不可知的毁灭力量。